Hey guys, what is up? Today we are going to talk about powering your risers safely. So here is a riser. This is how they come. It's usually in a bag with Here's your riser, USB, and then your power. So they come with these SATA adapters. They want you to run this from your SATA power, from your power supply, and they want you to plug it in here. And then you got your adapter there. Don't ever do this. As you can see here, I have an absolute collection of these things that are all going in the trash. I actually have them just for the wires in case I ever need to do some wire splicing or something, but most of these are just, these are all just trash. This is my collection of SATA adapters. Here's one that I've cut to take some wires off of it that I needed. So those are all trash. Those are all garbage. What you want to do is you want to keep this here. You need this. This goes to your motherboard, this plugs in here. So what you want to do instead is get these, you can either run right, so here's a power supply right here. You've got a power supply with these 2x6 power. So you either run this directly into here, put the 6 pin in there, and you can run it straight from your power supply cable or what you can do what I do a lot of the time because I don't have enough usually power supplies don't come with enough of these cables or you could buy these adapters this will be an 8 pin which splits into two 6 by 2s so plug that in there One of these can go to a graphics card if you want, or you can power two risers with it if you want. And then that just goes in here. And that'll give you way better power draw, way better power supply for your, your riser. If you don't do this, your riser, if your riser starts pulling power and it pulls too much from your SATA cable, I can't remember what the wattage is on the SATA cable, but it's not much, 40 watts maybe you will melt your cable. This end right here can melt. This end, where we got here? This end can melt. Or, let's see this is not focusing very good. So that end can melt, or that end can melt. And here is an example of a power supply. Let's see if I could turn a light on here, there you go. Here's an example of a power supply. Not sure if you can see in here, but this end right here has melted. Cause I, back in the day when I first started mining, I used to use those adapters. And you can see both of these are actually melted here. And you see that in there, one of the pins in there is melted. I threw the cable that was melted in the garbage, but that'll just melt. So luckily mine just melted and they didn't catch on fire. If you're not so lucky, these can melt and catch on fire. So when this melted, it stopped reading the card on my rig and the rig shut down. I was getting errors and the rig shut down. So it was not catastrophic. And this one I believe here as well, might have some melted ones too. So this pin right here, this one's got a melted one as well because these just can't handle the power. So always, always, always use this power right here. Use these, the six pin power from your power supply. Always, always, always use that. So you can use these splitters just to power your risers with splitters. That's generally how I do it. Or if you're using a server power supply, use a whole cable dedicated cable for each of these. Power those risers safely. Never, ever, ever, under any circumstance, if you don't have enough cables, you just gotta deal with it. Never, ever, ever use these adapters. I got a, just a collection going here. Usually I just huck them in the trash. For whatever reason, I just haven't hucked these ones out, so they're just piling up. Never use these things. 
don't ever use them. I cannot stress that enough. Never ever use those things to power your risers. So there's your riser. I don't know if it makes it, I've never used these ones personally. Sometimes they have some Molex on there too. I wouldn't use Molex. Just use this guy right here. Use that six pin power. That will keep it the, keep it the safest. It allows for the most power and you are going to be in much better hands using this thing powered properly than any adapters. The less adapters, the better. So I hope this helps somebody. Let me know if you've been powering your risers using those adapters. If so, swap them over as soon as you can. I don't want to see you guys get into any trouble using those things. As always, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.